At Twin Cities Orthopedics, we believe less pain is your gain. So we stay in the fight with you. This is your victory, and you've earned it. Welcome to this Timberwolves Fast Break presented by Twin Cities Orthopedics. I'm Marnie Gellner with Rebecca Brunson. Tonight, the Knicks beat the Timberwolves 120 to 107, and New York made 10 three pointers in the first quarter, 19 threes for the game which was unfortunate for the Wolves because they came into this game feeling like they needed to defend the paint, right? You have a team that is at the top of the league and, and scoring in the paint, but they caught fire tonight. And it wasn't just one guy. You think about it, Julius Randle had went 8 of 13, and Reddish had 2 of 5. Brunson had 2 of 5 as well. So that was just their way to get the game started, right? And after that, the floodgates were open. They were able to score from anywhere. And that's where the game got away from them. Two 38-point point, point quarters to begin this game, 76 points in that first half, 25 points off turnovers. It was just, you know, Knicks kind of had their way with the Wolves this evening. Final numbers, 44% shooting for the Knicks, 47% for the Wolves, but the 19 threes made were a huge difference. So were 29 points off of turnovers. And after the game, Chris Finch talked about some of Minnesota's struggles. Yeah, by the time we finally found some physicality on defense and was able to try and impose ourselves for the moments that we were, which were few and far between, um, you know, our – our shot contestedness and just wasn't there. You know, we guys didn't feel us, and we just they were they were shooting shots with too much space on them. Well, the Wolves will regroup now, uh, and on Wednesday night, we'll host Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns, and that'll wrap up a homestand at Target Center. It's a 6:30 pregame show. The Wolves and the Suns from Target Center. Thanks for watching this Timberwolves Fast Break, presented by Twin Cities Orthopedics.